Notice how the day disk seems to have a lot of movement. This is definitely a concern and suggests that the cannon pinion is not seated correctly on the center wheel arbor. This would actually explain the symptoms that we've already observed. And yes, you can see that the hour wheel and the cannon pinion are indeed loose. This should not be a problem to fix, but first I'd like to see a reading on the time graph and judge its current timekeeping. And all looks good until we turn the movement into that pendant forward position and then we can see a significant change of over 20 seconds per day. So there's quite a bit of positional error here. Now I can see the real reason why the cannon pinion is loose, and unfortunately, it's a game stopper. The center wheel arbor is actually completely snapped off and stuck in the cannon pinion. Now this is exactly the reason why the hour and minute hands fail to turn whilst the watch is actually running. Now in my mind, the most likely cause of this would be a shock of some sort, or the center wheel had a manufacturing defect, perhaps. However, we did observe that the whole of the dial was off-center, and this lends more weight towards the watch having received a shock. The dial shifted with such force as to cause the center arbor to snap. Whether this happened during assembly or whilst the watch was being shipped, well, that's anybody's guess, but here we are. I checked on the Cousins website to see if parts were available for the NH36A, And with regret, the only choices we are presented with is a new calendar disc, a new movement, or a new winding stem. So I decided to purchase a new movement, so at least I could get this watch working again. This movement is strikingly similar to the Seiko 7S26 movement, so I was interested to see how the hacking feature worked. But here we can see the additional gearing which allows this module to be manually wound, something which the original Seiko movement lacks.
And here is the uh, broken wheel. Now I have a Scrap 7S26 here. So